to the channel. Today I am filming a Disney Cakes and Bakes, I think it's called. It's the uh, Eagle Moss Create Crafts collection. Something like that. I'll have links and stuff in the description. It's not sponsored or anything. I don't get anything from the links. So if you don't want to click on them, you just want to watch this video, don't click on them. Just watch the video. Click that like button though. <laughs> Uh, so this is the um, magazine binder. Uh, if you don't know what it is, basically Disney sent out. Well, I don't think it, I don't know if it is official. Well, it's official Disney branding, but I don't know if Disney deal with the company itself. It's Eagle Moss is the company. They send out these magazines, Disney cakes and sweets. Uh, they've got super super yummy looking recipes in like conversion charts in the back, simple instructions for like, well they look simple, I haven't had like a thorough look yet because I haven't tried to make any of them yet, although I would love to do some videos trying to make some of the recipes from this, or these I should say, look I could maybe make Lightning McQueen, although the kids are just into Minecraft at the moment so I don't know if they'd even care about Disney, but I care about Disney and so do my friends, so Disney night, give me an excuse to make some of these. Um, but yeah, they're all super duper cute. And there's like, I think it's like every three or four issues, there's like a bigger thing that it teaches you how to make, but in parts. So say if you were buying the magazines every week from the shop, you'd have to wait a week to learn how to do the next part of like the big cake bit. So the, the one in here, see if I can find it is this big castle cake how pretty is that um and so like it says here this this is part one there's part two and part three that tells you how to make various different parts of the cake so if you have all of those magazines they you should be able to make this cake and make it look almost as good as that although you know i'm not professional so it probably looks like some kind of droopy uh, Pinterest fail or like when um, the fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty try and make that cake and it just turns out like dripping on its side. Okay so now for the part everybody probably wants to see. The goodies that come with the magazines. Now again I am on magazine number seven that doesn't seem right. Yep, number seven. <laughs> Thought it had more than that. It's very exciting stuff. Uh, and I think I've got a Frozen collection, like an extra special Frozen collection that I paid like 11 quid for. Um, in case no one's wondering the prices, it's I think 22 something a month and that is for like, it's basically a fiver a week. Um, and then a little bit extra because I got the sparkly bonus stuff which I haven't had any of yet but I'll show you when it comes anyway frozen stuff should be coming in the next week or two but I just want to show you all the stuff that I already have I'm gonna pour it out and then put it back in my special box as I go so and I'm not doing these in the order I've got them I'm just doing them in the order I pick them up so sorry if you are hoping to know what you get first um but it does show you quite well on the website I think I seem to remember anyway so we've got these lolly sticks that go into these little silicone molds so you can make ice like flavored ice or like milk chocolate into them that kind of thing I guess you could put fudge in them too but I don't know how well that would hold up like a fudge lolly anyway you can be creative with it but they're little Olaf's super cute next we have got the Mickey Mouse cookie cutter so this is the cookie cutter like shape and then this is the stamp that goes in it so you cut your cookie put this in there stamp down on it and voila you have a Mickey Mouse face that you can kind of ice over and know where you're going and stuff or you can just I guess leave it uniced and have a little Mickey Mouse face that's not messed up if you're bad at icing like me 
Uh, then we've got the Minnie Mouse one. I have not opened these. Like a icing shaping, like fondant icing shaping tool here, and a bunch of Disney characters on the sticks that you are supposed to put in the cake that I showed you. Well, that's how it shows them being used anyway. I guess you could use them for cupcakes, for um, I don't know, really anything. Uh, then we have got the Winnie the Pooh molds. Uh, again, I think this is supposed to be for chocolate, but you could use it for various other purposes. Uh, these might be silicone. Yeah, I think they are. I can't get into them right now. <laughs> uh, but we've got Winnie the Pooh's head, full, like, head to toe of Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore. Um, and they're super cute. So yeah, I've got those. We have got some of the stuff there. A little silicone mold for seashells and little starfish. Um, I think these were demonstrated in the magazine being used to um, shape little bits of fondant. But again, you could do chocolate, you could do ice, you could make teeny tiny cookies <laughs> I don't know, the possibilities are endless whatever you can think to put in the moulds you can put in the moulds uh, then we have got the Mike Wazowski cookie cutter and stamp so same again as the Mickey Mouse one this is the head shape and then bloop I hope they stick together uh, I've got I've actually lost a piece already. There's this, and there was a like a Winnie the Pooh with his like arms crossed. Um, one of these. Uh, basically, you put it on your cupcake, put some icing over it, then lift it off, and the icing is there in this pattern. Um, but Winnie the Pooh's run off. <laughs> then we have got number cookie cutters. I don't know how well you can see it, but they have like little Mickey Mouse shapes on them. So it's Mickey Mouse head on that one. His like hand I think on that one and in numbers one, two and three there's little designs on the stamps. Yeah, hopefully my autofocus is doing a good job. Let's get back in there. Then we have another cake icing design thing so again you put it on the cake put the icing over um, and lift it off and should have a Tinkerbell design that also came in the same pack as these little poppy pop out I don't know what they're called basically you stamp them into your fondant icing and then push them out like that and they make little stars, and it's just stars in three different sizes. And then, the last thing I got was supposed to be tea towels, but apparently it's been super popular so they haven't had enough tea towels, so I got little metal plated coasters, and how adorable are these? Okay, I'll have a look. And that is it so far. I have really, really been excited getting these. Uh, and I can't wait to get some more. Fingers crossed I can achieve some nice baking videos from it too. Or just like get a bit better at baking with practice. But yeah, I've got lots of cool tools now to do it with. And there's like more coming. Um, if you search Eagle Moss Disney Cakes, like you can probably find like images and stuff of all the things you get if you're interested we want to know before I know um, but yeah there is a few recipes in this that I am dying to try it's going to be so good I think my favourite bit is like they've got the um, conversion things in the back and then they have just like classic recipes like they've got bread pudding, gingerbread, um, how to construct a tea cake, brownies, blondies, 
fruit and chocolate chip squares, lemon squares, all sorts of stuff like that in the back of all of them. And then you've got like the specific like character recipes. Um, so, so you've got the Mickey Mouse cookies, um, Russell's chocolate chip, uh, Russell's chocolate cupcakes, bloop, bloop, bloop. Fairy Rosetta's red velvet cupcakes, Belle's mini chocolate eclairs. Honestly, not all of them seem fitting to the characters, but it's still cute to have. We've got the Thumper carrot cake, that's fitting because he's a, a bunny and bunnies like carrots. Jungle Book Party Pavlova. One of the ones I really, really want to make is the coconut ice because if you don't know this about me, I love coconut ice. And apparently, it's super easy to make according to the recipe in this. They've got like um, difficulty rating, so it's like one Mickey head or four Mickey heads or somewhere in between. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you're feeling friendly. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay hydrated and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! When the, the um, Aurora's fairy godparents... Fairy godparents... <laughs>